All right, let's see what we got here. Wow. You wouldn't think this was a 60 card deck, would you? <laughs> Look at this. This is insane. Let's go ahead and start. Ooh, I don't know. Like, there's a few different paths I can take. Actually, let's start with this one. We're going to use her effect. And I'm going to send probably... Yeah, I'm going to send the Havness. I don't know if this is the right call. We're going to see how this goes. So we're going to activate Havness. And then I'm going to mill five cards. Oh, okay, we got a response. They didn't do anything, so maybe like an Imperm or something. And it looks like they are also on tier limit. And yeah, this is why blind milling, not normally the best idea in the world, because they do have a shuffler now. Yeah, they also have the option to do their own fusion summons, which kind of sucks. All right, they can target a trap out of the hand. So they'll get their crime, and then they're also presumably going to at least attempt a fusion summon, and then probably shuffle my stuff away. Which, not ideal. Wait. Really? They're trying to trick me. I'm not falling for that. What, do you think I would chain it? <laughs> I'm not doing that. I don't need to. Yeah, go ahead, get your crime, and then I'm going to go into... I suppose we'll go into Rukulos. So, shuffle those back in, summon the Rukulos, and this we will add probably, I'm thinking like Scream might be a good choice. Yeah, let's grab Scream. And now at this point we obviously are going to use the Shuffler, because I can't have them just sitting on theirs. They'll eventually use it and it's going to hurt. We will shuffle back the Keldo. I could shuffle this one back just to be safe. Yeah, I think I will. And I imagine they're going to hit my, uh, wait, what? Huh? They didn't do anything. But why, though? Well, whatever. We're going to summon her. We're going to put down the scream. And then we can activate the Jenny. This isn't the play I was looking to do, but this is what I'm going to go for. Okay, they have a Havenus, that makes sense. Unfortunately for them, of course, we have the Rukulos. Now I know there's a downside. It's going to go to the graveyard, they're going to get their effect, but I think I can still do something with this. We'll send the Rukulos since she'll come back. And then we will bring out, bring out a Madam. And then we can activate the Rukulos to bring herself back. We can activate Scream to mill three more cards. And we can go ahead and activate the Restage to grab Right Hand. And of course they'll activate the Havness. Which, you know, now that I think about it, was that a good idea for me to negate there? No. But hey, we all make mistakes. I just make more of them than the average person. Oh, what's this? Oh, it's uh, Rukulos. Not what I expected. We'll go ahead and grab the right hand. And then mill three, what did we hit? Anything good? I hope so. I got snow, which doesn't do much for me at this very moment. We still have a priority pass as well. But they're not doing anything in response. So, our grave looks okay. It's not amazing. We do have the masterpiece, which will be really helpful got the snow for backup and you know I mean I have a few things available to me so it's not that bad and I'm probably going to go ahead and use the right hand I feel like that's the right play there is other stuff I could potentially do I think I'll pass we'll just pass can I do more almost certainly but am I going to clearly not I am a little jealous of that Royal Rare Rukulos, though. That's pretty nice. Oh, we're summoning Snow to start off with. That's very interesting. That does put me in a bad spot. I'll activate Scream. And, you know, we will go ahead and use the Madam, because this also lets me negate the Rukulos. Let's see, did I mill anything good? No, not really. 
That is their normal summon, though, so unless they've got a follow-up in hand... Ah, okay, we're gonna go for Phoenix. They must really want to get rid of the right hand, so I guess they have a spell they want to activate. Ooh, we're also gonna throw a Miller. Let's go ahead and Masterpiece. And go for probably... I'm gonna summon a Shmietta. Oh, no, no I'm not. They're gonna quit. Well... Sure. I'm honestly not 100% confident that I was going to win that. I thought they had some kind of a plan, but hey, we'll take it. And where's my Witchcrafter cards? <laughs> Where are they? Eh, whatever. Anyway, activate this card. Max C, probably? No? Huh, now I really wonder what it was. Agito. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna take the risk. Okay, well, we did hit a Shuffler, so it's not too bad. Even this Blind Mill could go well enough. If it was a DD Crow, they'd probably hit it there, though, right? Uh, we're gonna activate the Merly. And then they're going to activate their Rhino Heart. And their Have Miss. Will they also be willing to mill here? I don't know. Probably not. Yeah, that's a big no. So we'll activate our Shuffler. We're going to shuffle back the Havness, the Rhino Heart. I don't think I really want to shuffle anything else back. Yeah, that seems fine. Shuffle those. It's as good as it gets for the moment. And, um, oh, that's why. That's pretty good. Orange Light. Hmm, huh. So be it. That's just how it is. That makes a lot of sense, though. Okay, kit close, hitting the board. And then they're summoning Rhino Heart. Discarding a Havness. And we are going to also special summon our own kit close. I'm not going to use my on-field cards, I have some plans for them. And then summon her out. Activate effect. Then they're going to activate their effect. Yep. Yep. So they're going to do another fusion summon. I don't know. Will they go into like... Ah, whatever. Let's activate Havnus. <laughs> let's see what happens. Could be anything. You never know. So let's see what we mill. We milled uh, nothing. Excellent. Very good news. And then they'll add something or send something to the graveyard, but I assume they'll add something. Yep, they're grabbing Scream. And then let's get our own copy of Scream. Yeah. Isn't that cool? And then they're going to activate their Merly. I don't know if they'll go Rukulos or just go into the other guy and spin our Kit Kalos or something. We are going for a Rukulos. Uh-huh. So now we'll activate Scream. As far as I know, they don't have any other way to interact with me at the moment. I can Dark try to bring out their Havnus. Like, that's something. Yeah, because I've got a follow-up on that as well. So we'll go into Dark. And this will proc the Scream. Let's go ahead and use that. And see if we get anything good. Yeah, that's not bad. Activate the Trap to add a Tier Limit Monster to hand. We're going to add probably just a Rhino Heart. And then I'm going to use Dark to go and grab their Happiness. Will they negate this? Okay, they're choosing to negate that. Fair enough. But of course, once it's destroyed, I will get the effect to search a card. Sending their own Rukulos, that's your one and only opportunity to do that. And then we'll activate Dark in the graveyard and they'll summon themselves back. Okay. Back on the field, and then what do I want to grab? I could... I mean, there's no point in that, right? I don't think I have a Jenny, which is really unfortunate. If I did, that would change everything, but no, we'll just grab Happiness. Okay, let me Kitkillos here, target herself, and then we will summon... I'm gonna summon Merly, actually, because I want to be able to go into Elf. Activate the Kitkillos, activate the Merly. I'm on to something, it's just gonna take a minute. You know, it's, a, it's one of those kinds of decks. 
So mill three. Mill five. Anything good? Yeah, that's fine. It's not amazing, but it's okay. Kaleido to spin is probably my best bet here, I think. Because it's just a little too risky otherwise. We'll return this and return this. And summon Kaleido. The big boy with the whip. And he says, hey, get out of here. Be gone. And then they are. They're gone. I want to save the Havanus, but I'm not going to. Instead, we're going to do this. Normal summon Havanus. That's right. Activate our Witchcrafter card in the graveyard. And this will allow me to add a Witchcrafter card from my grave to my hand. I can get holiday or I could go for creation to get set up for later I think we'll holiday I don't know if this is a an amazing choice considering that destroying your opponent's tier limit cards is not particularly smart but hey we'll bring back the Heine she still has a good amount of attack and she can block for us then from here I'm gonna flip this up oh wow so cool Instead of a bet. And now, like, there's so many things I could do, but I believe we're gonna elf. And we'll put elf over here. We'll go ahead and use it. Use the effect of elf, and I can bring back a dark. And we'll just put dark over here. And then with this, I could still do some stuff. Like, I'm not out of options, but I think this is fine. Yeah, I've got plenty of resources available to me. Did they use the Rhino Heart effect this turn? I don't remember. Yeah, they did. So let's go ahead and destroy him and get him out of the way. Uh, we'll toss the creation, destroy the Rhino Heart. Oh yeah, he's banished. He is gone forever. And then we will add this. So I've only got two cards in hand. But we have a snow, a fully loaded graveyard, uh, a dark, if they destroy that, I get the search. We've got the elf to bring back a Merly. We've got the Jaime for a pop. We've got this guy, he summons himself back, probably. Lots of good stuff going on. Now, all that changes significantly if they do something like evenly matched, you know? Which has happened to me a lot lately. People are running that card. Not this person, though, because they have not done anything yet. Um, I'm going to go ahead and activate the elf, bring back Merly. Try to get ahead of him a little bit. And actually, there's something else I want to do quickly while I've got a good chance to do so. So we're going to activate Merly, then we're going to activate Scream. Now it's possible that they're on like talent or something, which would be pretty bad for me. We'll see. What are we milling? What are we milling? Okay, we got. We're not going to mill any more than that. That's not necessary. But I will activate this to banish a card. We're going to banish a spell. Then we can summon a Jenny using that. And then from there, I can use her effect to bring out our Madam. So we got a negate live. So discard this. Maybe I shouldn't have discarded that one. Oh well, oh well. Now we're all set up. We are good to go. I'm pretty pleased with this board, I think. <laughs> look at this graveyard. Look at it. Would you just look at it? It's so nice. Terraforming. Okay, well, we can pop that, so... It looks like the Heine is going to come in handy after all. Activating the field spell, and yes, that will get popped, I promise you. We're going to discard the confusion and pop the field spell. Which, of course, makes it do absolutely nothing. So they've got two cards to their name. They do have a scream. So there's still some potential, but honestly, I just don't see how they overcome this. Activate scream. Activate Merly. I could negate the Merly, so they only mill three. Yeah, let's do it. They're down so far on advantage, like, I feel like this is okay. Normally I wouldn't risk it, but with the one card in hand, I think I will. 
does nothing, and then they mill three cards, which... Oh, no. They hit Scream, and they also hit a Kelbeck, so this actually could be a big problem. But that just goes to show why I was like, hey, I gotta stop him from milling as much as I can. Even if it doesn't seem amazing, like, sometimes you just have to. Here goes. Big moment. They got a Shuffler... a Shuffler... And they do have an effect they can activate. You know, obviously I'm gonna say no. And no, I'm not milling. We're not milling. I don't want to. Use the Medora. Turn this, this, and this. Oh man, though, the snow. I'll let them keep a Shuffler and we'll get rid of the snow. They're gonna use it. I feel like they have to. Are they not? That's interesting if that's the case. Hey, I've got 30 cards in my graveyard. You can try to shuffle my snow back. It's not happening. Snow, by street, and magicalized fusion? Okay, activate snow. Banishing some cards. And then they'll use their other shuffler. I would think they would. They're gonna use their snow. Banishing. Alright. That's fine. I'm not going to chain anything to that, but I assume they will. Nope. They're not going to. They're not going to do it. Okay, they summon their snow. I summon my snow. And I'll probably flip their snow down since it is a level 4, but then again, the 2 lets them potentially go into elf, which is a big problem. And she's a dark. So I think that's what I'm going to flip. Yeah, we're going to flip them early. Maybe a weird choice, but hey. Wait, they didn't activate their snow? Setting a back row, we already know what it is. It's a Soliac. Battle phase? Of course, of course. What else could you possibly want to destroy in this situation? <laughs> Main two, end phase. Okay. I think that's going to wrap it up, personally. But I could be wrong, who knows. So, I should be a little extra safe. Let's go ahead and Metal Foes Fusion. They're going to activate the Soliac right away. If I had a spell, I'd probably pop that, but I don't. So that's not happening. Okay, um, they thought about it for a little bit. And then they surrendered. So, I don't know. I mean, we still had a little bit of game left to go, but overall, that worked out. That was a lot of fun. And you got to see kind of the power of the deck once it gets going. So, uh, yeah, consider that a success. All right, duel three. And the coin flip has favored me. As well as the draws. These are not bad, but there's a condition. If anything happens to this field spell, it's a loss. D shifter. Okay, um, yeah. Let me go ahead and add a card to the hand. We'll go probably grab Rhino Heart just to have for next turn. Or actually, I'm going to grab her because once it's a possibility, I can send her to the grave and then revive her with Holiday. But for now, we're just going to end the turn because I can't do anything under Shifter. Very fun gameplay. Exciting stuff. Oh, well, I guess it doesn't matter, huh? These kinds of decks are becoming more and more common. Just floodgates and... Ugh. I don't have any outs to it. That's the sad thing. Oh, they have a monster in hand? Why are they not summoning it? No, they don't. <laughs> oh, okay, well. Magicalized Fusion doesn't do anything. It's a rough spot to be in. Huh, you know what? Whatever. I'm just gonna do it. I'm just gonna do it. We're doing it. It doesn't matter. Uh, we'll discard that into the Banished Zone forever. Goodbye. And then I'll attack for 2300 and probably get Mirror Forced. But that's just how it is. Yep, there's the Mirror Force. But on the bright side, I mean, we can just normal. 
Last turn. <laughs> very cool, very cool. This is some fun stuff. I'm having an amazing time. You don't even know. I think they have a judgment over there. Alright, we got a witchcrafter. That's cool. Let's normal summon the witchcrafter. Are you going to judgment that? I will activate draping. And we'll return the fisher. I'm trying to bait stuff. Yeah, there we go. There we go. We got the judgment to work. All right, all right. Well, we're not done because I can go ahead and activate my Witchcrafter card and I will toss Magicalized Fusion and we're going to summon Heine. Now, see, the thing about D Fisher is the spells don't go to, they don't get banished. They go to the graveyard. So I can still do this and not really lose anything. Now, again, if it's Mirror Force, well, you know the result, but... I'm gonna try anyway. It's literally Mirror Force. Main 2 will activate Holiday, bring back the Heine. And there she is. And then we'll go to the end phase. So, all things considered, it could be worse. Oh, it could certainly be better. We got By Street. They've got two cards in hand, one on the field. Set a card. Another Fisher? Are you kidding? Um, do I need to get rid of that? Do I care that much? I think I am gonna do it actually. We'll send this to the grave to pop the Fisher. Okay. And look, if I have to, I just won't attack. Like, if that's the situation we're in, then so be it. I'll wait until I get my Buy Street back and then we'll attack. We'll go in phase, activate Buy Street. And then we can also add these other two cards back to hand. So we'll get the draping, and then we will get Holiday. They do have a priority pass, so I kind of wonder what's going on. But um, we won't find out yet. Alright, your turn. Have fun. Setting a card. And then what do we draw? Oh, that's excellent. That's a really good card right here, because if they do mirror force me... I can just summon her again. Try to return that. See what happens. Yep, they let me do it. We are going to go to battle. Attack for 2400. Do not shuffle her into the deck. I'll be so upset. Main 2. Yeah, we're leaving it there. End phase. And then this is it. It all comes down to this. Normal summon this guy? Why? Are you going to equip him with something? Is that a back row? Sure, whatever. I'll destroy him. I don't care. We'll toss this and destroy the fossil dino. Like, obviously there has to be a reason why I put him in that position, right? Yeah, okay. Well, that stops me from destroying it, but it doesn't matter. Because my card will not be destroyed. By Street will protect her. Really not an issue. Soliac doesn't do anything. Oh, man, this is... Like, do I want to do it? Here's what I'm going to do. We're going to activate the effect. Throw out the unveiling. Destroy the Dyna. I'm not attacking for game until I'm 100% positive that I've got this. Because I think it's weird that they summoned him in attack position. You know? The smart thing would have been defense position because then as soon as I attacked it well actually that wouldn't have mattered either but hey there you go um nice stun deck buddy you uh hit the all f4 keys there maybe something like that it is time for the rank up match and I'm getting to go first which makes me very happy uh based on this hand I don't know where this is gonna go but we'll find out. We're going to start with Reasoning before they have any idea what we're playing. And no response, so we don't have to worry about Max C. That's really good. Level 1. That's actually not a bad call considering the deck, but who knows if they'll... Nope. We got Rhino Heart. Very nice. So we're going to activate the Rhino Heart and then the Scream as Chain Link 2. In case they're on like Havnus or something. Although we're going to have to activate an on-field effect soon anyway. So we'll add the Soliac to hand. And then I'll send a Murley to the graveyard. 
and with Merly, we will of course activate the effect to fusion summon into who else but Kekilos. Return those to the deck. Yeah, well, it's taking a second, but there we go. We'll summon her out and then activate the effect. And I think I'm going to end up grabbing a copy of Scream. Oh, this is a little iffy, but I'm going to do it this way. We're going to grab Scream. I hope this works. I really do. Activate Scream. Normal summon Jenny. And then activate the effect of Scream to mill five. Oh boy. Well, we could be in trouble. I can still make this work. Hold on. We'll activate the effect of Schmietta. And we're going to send to the grave a holiday. And then Jenny effect. Tossing confusion. To summon a Heine. There we go. And then we can use Jenny from the graveyard to bring back our madam. This is not an ideal inboard, if that wasn't obvious, but it's also not the worst thing. Like, it has some potential. We still have the Soliac, so we've got a negate. We can send the Kikilos off of the negate to get another mill five, hopefully. We have one pop, which is like, eh, it's not great in today's meta. But then we have a field negate as well. The Agito isn't really going to do anything for me, but he's there. So let's see. All comes down to what we're playing against, obviously. Setting a back row. Wait, what? Is this some floodgate deck? We're setting three back row. Four back row. No, no, it's five back row. What is this? I don't know. I don't like it very much, though, I'll tell you that. Buy Street is actually really good here. Because it can protect me from destruction, which I assume um, they've got some stuff like that. One attribute of monster, that's kind of bad for me, but not bad enough to make me activate anything yet. I uh, will keep Dark on the field. We're going to activate the Buy Street. They're going to activate Ice Dragon's Prison. Oh, that's... That's rude. Okay, um, I guess we're going to go ahead and get a use out of her while we can, because that's as good as that gets. We'll destroy the Gozen match. I'm assuming they have... Oh, Shadow Imprisoning Mirror. We're just having all kinds of fun today, aren't we? Negated. And then, yeah, that's it. I mean, I don't know what to tell you. They're going to banish all my stuff. Those are both of my boss monsters, pretty much. Okay. Um, I can't activate the Scream, though. Which probably won't do anything. Um, Let's see. What do we do? I'm going to attack. I'll just, that's what I'll do. We'll attack for 23. Do they have anything? Storming Mirror Force? Eh, whatever. With that, I can go main two. I'm trying to think of what... What even does anything here, you know? We'll go... Creation. They do still have a response. It could be like a judgment or something, I don't know. But if it is, they'll probably hold it. So we'll go for Creation and... Like, I can get Shmieta. This will keep my resource loop alive. We'll summon the Shmietta. Then just kind of like... Pass. Get Confusion back, which doesn't do anything on its own. But hey, yeah, I, I got... Uh, have a spell card, that's cool. So they have only two cards to their name. Well, in their hand. But that doesn't mean I'm in a good spot. Yeah, as you can see. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. Man, that sucks so much. Battle phase. Uh, why? Why? She won't be destroyed, so there's that. Also, they can't do any damage, so... Not really sure what they were thinking there. Not that it matters. 
It doesn't. Is that two? What are they going to have to discard? I'm kind of curious. Another one. Alright, well, I mean, I don't have any way to get over them. Yeah, so I have reasoning. None of my cards do anything. I guess we're ending the turn. And we're going to add back some Witchcrafter stuff. Yep, add it to hand. Again, it doesn't actually do anything, but uh, it's better than not having any cards, I suppose. I don't really play backer removal. Goes in match, completely screws me over. But they also have to attack over my card. Yeah, they're not going to even try. If they're playing battle traps as well, I can kind of just chill. Which is something that I can sort of do anyway, because, you know, I play more cards than them. So, we'll set this Witchcrafter card, and then pass the turn. We're just going to set up a wall. I'm okay with doing this. It's not fun. <laughs> you know, it's not fun at all, but I'll do it. How many cards do they have? They got 28. Well, let's see how long it takes to deck them out then. All right. Well, she's not going to die, but I do have to send her to the graveyard. So, that's fine, though. We have other uses for her. And then, we draw into... Oh, I wish I could use that. I really do. Uh, I can't, though. We're going to set an Agito and pass. You know, if they hit me 80 times, they could kill me. That counts for something. Battle phase. <laughs> yeah, they're gonna just attack it. This is so stupid. This is such a waste of time. Yep, send it to the grave. But, I am extremely stubborn. I will sit here as long as I have to. As long as I don't think I've lost. I will just sit here. I still don't really have anything that does anything. We'll set another Agito. And then we'll end the turn. You gotta start hitting me for some damage at some point, man. Alright, attacking the Agito. End phase. For those of you who don't want to watch this ridiculous nonsense, maybe I will speed this duel up. Maybe I'll cut ahead to whatever happens. Assuming I win. If not... Wow, that was very unpleasant for me. Hold on. Hold on, their internet connection's doing a thing. Did they close the game? Did they get upset and quit? Please. Please tell me this is over. Oh, in this nightmare. Yes! Oh, yes! We don't have to deal with it anymore. It's over. Oh, their connection failed. I don't think it actually failed. I think they realized we were going to just sit here forever. Anyway. That's enough stun decks for the day. And we've ranked up... Things are going really well. I'm still having a great time. I'm getting a little bit better with the deck as well. You know, there's a decent amount to it. And so, now we are on to the next rank. And I'll be back soon enough to do some more. I hope this deck is as fun to watch as it is to play. I'm not really sure. But that'll do it for now. And uh, I'll see you later.